Qasem Soleimani was no ordinary general. You felt his presence on almost every battlefield in the Middle East. He'd either been there, he was either about to arrive, his name was always spoken of. He was viciously efficient at serving Iran's interest in Lebanon, in Syria, in Iraq, and beyond, all the way to Afghanistan. He was an electrifying figure. When he appeared, it rallied Iranian uh, supporters, Iranian uh, militiamen. He reshaped the world around him. He wasn't uh, just a military man. He was involved in the nitty gritty details of the politics in the countries in which he served. So Bashar al-Assad in Syria is probably in power thanks to Qasem Soleimani. And Abdul Mahdi in, in Iraq, the Prime Minister, stayed in power uh, because of his influence. He got involved in all of the detail in all of these countries. And Iran has said there will be severe consequences for this killing. He was a key figure. For a long time, he was referred to as a shadowy figure, the mystery man that was pulling the strings behind the scenes across the Middle East. But he was perhaps the most photographed shadowy figure in the region because wherever he went, militiamen took selfies with him. He was like a rock star. He became a celebrity. So while the general public may not have been overly familiar with his name, all of the main players and even the lowliest soldier or the low, lowliest militia member in the Middle East knew who Qasem Soleimani was. This is a man who in his life reshaped the world around him. For the two decades that he was operational across the Middle East, he changed countries. He changed the fate of governments. And in his death, he may well do the same. The United States for a long time, and President Donald Trump has said that he wants to disengage from the Middle East. Well, already there are more American boots on the ground here. So Qasem Soleimani's death may have temporarily put America's disengagement from the region on hold.